Alrighty, she's back in the garage again. All cleaned up, mostly. Of course, in all my brilliant wisdom, took it outside, pressure washed it, brought it back in and realized, hey dummy, you never uh, touched up your welds. So, yeah, we'll see how ambitious I get later this afternoon. Sharpened the blade on the lawnmower. I was making all sorts of rattling noises. I think it's because all the grass was building up inside. Pressure washer, you saw that, it works. Got the caddy battery on the charger. Haven't opened her up yet. I took the mirror off the old the other night. Snooping around. I was uh, looking at this thing. See how she's angled, she's leaning. I went to the other side, I thought both those tires were flat, but the rear is almost full of air still, so I don't know why she's leaning so bad. Anyway, that'll all get fixed with all the goodies in there. But uh, never did find out if I can uh, just paint over the top of this stuff at 415 and go, go inside and do that. What time is it? See, it's almost 4 o'clock. Oof. Should probably wait some lunch of some sort. Probably get the silver truck and bring it back anyway, so. I gotta get some stuff for the cats too. So maybe we'll go run down and do that real quick and then come back because I can play with this thing tonight. Got several hours of daylight left, not supposed to rain anytime soon. I'd like to get the window panels done on that thing. There's a pile of grass, trim the shrub here. This panel needs some more scrubbing. I can see some dirt and little creases there. This one looks pretty good. Of course, this is passenger side, not nearly as much uh, traffic as the driver's side. So, so anyhow, scrap metal pile. Buddy at work that got laid off yesterday, he uh, flew a radiator out of his Jeep. So I sold him the, the brand new one I had sitting up on the shelf there that I had bought for mine and never used. Not thinking that it was for a manual trans and his is an automatic, so luckily the neighbor that owns that one did a radiator swap and he gave me the old one for just for scrap. And his is an automatic, so hauled it into work yesterday, gave it to dude to swap his little fittings out with. It's a shame these tires are all dry rotted on the sidewall there. They got lots of good tread left on them. They may just be burnout candidates once these things roadworthy. Paints and everything never showed up, so not really going to do a whole lot to this thing this weekend. Got to probably clean up those lower control arms too and get them refinished and swap out the fittings and do the ball joints. And all the parts are laying in here. Yeah. We're tinkering, we're tinkering. At least this thing's been cleaned, degreased, blow dried pretty much. Got some moisture in her still, so I'm just gonna let her sit for a little bit. We'll, uh, maybe we'll go ahead and attack the bare metal with scotch brite pad and just get the rust off of them. Actually, once I do paint this thing, I should probably flip it upside down, get the bottom done first, let that cure for a little bit, and then hit the top edges. Anywho, let's go find some lunch. I'm getting hungry. Well, here it is almost 6.30, and I still haven't made it to the store or found lunch or anything. Frames back in. Squirted the inside of the end rails with some rust inhibitor. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how, how that goes. Just because I was bored. Figured out why the old's is sagging. It's because the front tire is still flat. And, Forgot that independent suspension, they like to keep things level with the frame, whereas the springs in the back are the ones that are flexing, so. But the two hours has not been wasted. What a mess.
go from the ramp to get the mower in and out of the shed. There's quite a climb there to get in there in the corners where I was digging into the grass. So, a couple of stones, a couple of pressure treated 2x6s. I'll stand the ends tomorrow. Got one support underneath there, a couple of supports. Holding everything together. A few screws. Actually, it didn't cost me a penny because I already had all this stuff here, so I didn't have lumber left over. So, sweet. A little bit of digging. If I stick around this place for another couple of years, I'll put a little deck off this. Maybe come out five or six feet. So basically, go from the fence on over and Turn this into a little walkway through into the backyard, but that's what we've been doing. Get the tiller back in here. Spare motor. Haven't got around to the Cadillac yet. Probably not going to. I'm just going to take her easy for this tonight. My back's kind of bugging me. Forgot all about this thing. Something else we can put up here soon. They shiver right up in there somewhere, huh? All sorts of neat projects and toys and gizmos. Cheap harbor freight junk. Oh, it is cheap. Lots of plastic. Holders for various bits. There's the solar panel. There's the light. So, yeah. Had a little project for tomorrow. I don't know, I just put it right up there. Shine down over the top of the workbench. Batteries, rechargeable. It's usually it's the batteries that go bad in these things. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll play with that for a little bit. Probably have to drill a hole into the siding somewhere. I sealed everything up for running wires. Put the panel way up at the very peak on the top. Hope she gets enough light. Oldsmobile sheet metal, the hood, the front fenders. Holy! All sorts of neat stuff. My barbecue's up there still. I haven't even dug it out. Oof. Alright. I don't know if we'll get into any more tonight. Missed the uh, blooming of the super red things here. They're pretty much done, I think. Got that flower down there blooming pretty good. Looking pretty. Got the kitty in here checking it all out with me. So the yellow things are pretty much done. This purpley kind of thing had some white flowers on it for a while, but they're just about done. And the blooming season's almost over, and it's just time to get to the growing. But yeah, made me a ramp. Scrap, oh well not scrap lumber, just extra lumber. I gotta figure out what to do with all this other pressure treated. I don't know if it'll fit in here conveniently. Alrighty. I need to go to the store. I need to go find something to eat. Holy. Well, it's 20 after 9 in the evening now. I'm, uh, I'm pretty much done for the day. I thought about coming out here and maybe welding a little bit, but I thought, nah, it's just, yeah, it's just take her easy. Back's bugging me. Went to the grocery store, got a little something to eat, got some food into me, and just stay inside and watch a movie for the night. Rest up. I did spend a couple minutes to just kind of clean that up with the scotch brake pad on a little dot coat. Hit the motor mount spots real quick, got to hit this side. 
Get this back sides down. I need to do an inspection, find out where I need to weld. Got to scrub up on this door panel. That one over there is done. This one needs some cleaning yet. Uh, one thing I did notice, I was looking at the car. I was, how the heck do those upper control arms mount to this thing? This is your, this is the top of the frame. Upper control arms go here. I was just thinking they snuck in here, not really looking at it. Now, how well it's going to show here with the light going, but there's actually a bar that runs along the back that gets bolted through. So these two bolt holes here, there's a bar that runs along the back, gets bolted through. That's where your tie rod, your upper control arms mount to. So I thought, huh, what's that going to cost? Because I'm not going to reuse the ones off the... Let's see, where was it? We're going through the old uh, here1.com catalog here. Body suspension. So we flipped the year one guys open. And where was it? Probably going to pick some of those up too. Coil spring insulators for the back. They're only five bucks for the ones I need. That ain't nothing. And here we go. Upper control arm shaft kit. Get your nuts. Little spacers. 54 bucks for a set. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. There's a picture on how it all goes together. I did order a set of these bolts. These are what go through the holes here. What I do not have is the bolts to go for the lower control arms. That's what I've been trying to find. Not that I'm at this point yet, but I just wonder what uh, the old PG boys want for one. What do we got for your suspension? Something I gotta figure out is shocks for this car. Suspension parts. <laughs> We're looking. Let's see. And mine may have them. I need to go crawl inside and look. I don't know if they came with them or not. There we go. Front control arm bushing and shaft assembly. So they want, holy cow, they want 87 bucks for a set. Billet chrome molly for 150. Yeah, we'll be buying those through year one if we need them. I've got the Global West. So. Geometry Plus, I think is what I got, and that's showing the bar back there, so I may have them. I just can't get to the other side, and you can't get this door open. So, in fact, you know what, let me uh, let me crawl in there and see what I can find. Oh, well, that took long enough for the camera to go into auto shut off. Crawl through the car. Oh, yeah. I forgot that I already got them. I already got them, good. They're already installed too. Nice. Very nice. This should be the right hand side. Just like that. Excellent. Excellent. It's going to be nice. I'm tired now, crawling through the damn car. But yeah, good deal. Good deal. With the new fancy ball joints and urethane bump stops and Global West. Excellent. We're getting close, people. We are getting close. will commence here in the coming weeks, I think. Yeah. I'm going to kind of keep this one together for now, use it as reference. 
if I need parts that are there, I'm going to reuse the sway bar. Actually, probably not. I'm probably going to put a bigger sway bar. I'm uh, probably going to use the steering gear, so I need to get that off and painted. I thought about buying new stuff, but then we're getting expensive again. And I'm reusing the lower control arm, so there shouldn't be any reason I can't reuse all the... Although they do make a pitman arm that's greasable. And you're supposed to use the main connecting rod, so... Uh, We'll see. We will see. It's nice I don't need to come up with 50 bucks for the mounting rods. I'd like to clean up some more of the rust, but I don't want to do that with the panels in here and get them all dirty and dusty again. I'm going to finish scrubbing this one down, probably come out here in a little bit. Alright, just do it now. Turn the radio on and start scrubbing. I gotta start working on the floor on this thing yet too. Gotta figure out why the door won't open. I looked in there a little bit and I can't see what's going on, so I have to pull that side off and see if anything's missing. That side opens just fine, closes nice. Gotta get look into a window. But yeah. If I can get the Jeep rear end done put in the Jeep which is outside I'll take the Dana 30 that's under it and I will just toss it under here I got a set of tires over at Kevin's place that will fit that Jeep with the bolt pattern so I can just throw them under here hopefully the width is going to be good and just blocks of wood my battery's about to die on this thing but blocks of wood and uh, strap her in and we can keep this thing mobile if I need to not driving but mobile but my battery's about to die, so I think we're going to end this here. I'm not going to probably show you guys anything else for the night. But uh, you all be good. We will catch you tomorrow. We're going to try to button up the interior of the Cadillac. And uh, wait for some more parts to show up. Get these little window rollers put, put in tomorrow, too. Excellent. Alrighty. Hopefully, this whole mess here it's gonna look like this very soon exhaust brake lines everything all run so okay all right y'all y'all be good we will uh see you see you tomorrow have a good one bye bye